All right, hey Capricorn, so I am doing just a quick reading for those of you who come across this video. This is just about releasing what to release for the full moon and then what to expect within the next 30 days. Um, it's kind of gone back and forth. Um, some of the releasing um, turns into the expectation of the next 30 days. Some of the stories have not been that way, so... Let's see what Capricorn needs to release for the full moon. All right, Cap. Okay. Release. We have the Queen of Swords right here. The hanged man, the hanging man. All right, and the four of wands. All right, so I feel like you guys, I feel like you're on a break from somebody who's very important in your life, okay? The Four of Wands, this is about celebrations. This is about coming together, people getting together. This is about family, unity, okay? And I feel like it's on a hiatus. It's on a break right now with the Hanging Man. Um, the person that you're dealing with could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, all right? Um, I feel like uh, you're just kind of in this mode of there's something that's not happening um, right here. So let's see what else we got. We have the Nine of Swords, all right? Night, this is a staying awake, nightmare, stress, anxiety, worry. We have the Star card, hopes, dreams, aspirations, wishes being fulfilled. All right, and then we have the Sun card. I almost feel for who I'm talking to, um, Capricorn, I feel like for some of you, um, I, I feel like, uh, there is, there is a hiatus. There is, there has been a stopping point, um, um, movement forward when it comes to your love life. Okay. I feel like for who I'm talking to, um, you're worried that you're never going to get married or find somebody. I feel like you're worried about not finding the right person, not finding the right partner for your life. All right. I feel like some of you guys are just stressed out. Like, is this ever going to happen for me? Is this for me? Is this in the cards? And I feel like your worry, your anxiety, your worry, it's like I'm getting older, you know. Um, I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you're over the age of 35 and you just never see it happening. You're like, I'm never going to get married. I'm never going to be happy. I'm never going to find my 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 wish fulfillment, okay. My wish fulfillment is on hiatus, all right. I'm never going to be happy. I feel like, you know what, it's like what you need to release is exactly what I'm saying. Um, feeling like it's never going to happen won't bring it to you, all right. I'm just going to say... Um, this right here is a divorced energy um the queen of swords um this does represent divorce divorce all right the divorced lady the divorced man um it could be that you've never actually even been married um but i feel like it's like when is it my turn when am i going to be happy okay and i feel like what your team wants you to know is you know when we keep on telling when we keep on speaking that to the universe I'm never going to have, I'm never, I'm never, I'm never. Well, you know what happens is, uh, is that sh this shit manifest. All right. The negative, um, self-talk, the self-doubt that manifest. All right. So I really feel, and you know, some of you are going to listen and some of you aren't, but what you need to do is you need to quit speaking like that. You can't, you can't be like, I'm never going to be happy. I'm never going to have somebody. I'm never going to be married. Okay. You can't walk around saying that you guys now. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I got to tell you, and I don't like to interject myself in these readings, but you know, I'm a single mom. I have four kids. I'm 37. Um, I've actually never been married. Okay. Um, uh, haven't had the best childhood growing up, but I don't, I don't let it, um, I don't let it beat me up. I don't let it get to me. And you know what? I'm just like it. it I take whatever it is, um, a day at a time. You know, yes, I do wonder about love. I do wonder if there's a person out there for me, but I don't dwell on it. If it, if it comes, it comes. And you know what? To be honest with my kids situation, I'm just like, you know, it, it's hard to actually envision somebody in my life, even though 
you know what I know for me and for you, Capricorn, is that we are not here on this planet to experience life alone. Okay, we're not. I feel like what your message here is let go, release any desire, um, re release, quit saying that. All right, quit worrying that you're not going to have and then start talking to the universe. Start, start telling them what you want. Don't thoughts manifest. Okay. Our words create our reality. Our thoughts create our reality. All right. So in order to get to this, your happiness, your wish fulfillment, you have to stop having these thoughts, these self doubts, this worry, this anxiety. Um, I do feel like it's in love. Okay. You have, you have the four of wands here. I feel like this is somebody that's saying, I'm never going to get married. I'll never be happy. I'll never have, I'll never have. All right. It's not true. Okay. So I feel like what you guys need to release with the full moon today is the thought that this is never going to happen because that's not, it's not true. We are here to experience love. All right. That's the ultimate, that's the ultimate goal for um, humanity. So what's come in towards you? Capricorn in the next 30 days. What is coming towards you? So Capricorn's going to release this shit and let's see what's coming towards this Capricorn that I'm talking to. We have the five of swords. All right. Loss. Sadness, tears, we have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Three of Wands, okay? Um, all right, so what I feel like this is saying, all right, for those of you who, who listen to the messages, um, it's what's coming towards you is I feel like the release of what you feel like isn't fair okay I feel like if I'm talking to a female you are going to embody this independent energy all right you're releasing this you're releasing what doesn't serve you okay I feel like with the five of swords coming in this represents loss all right and I feel like this is energy that is coming towards you like I'm I'm done with it I'm releasing it I'm letting it go this right here is not gonna overpower my thought process anymore and when you do that, you embody this Knight of Wands energy. The Knight of Wands for a female represents um, somebody who's independent, who can grow on your own. For a male, it's learning how to embody the feminine energy that you have um, because we are all born with, you know, divine masculine and divine feminine energy and it's balancing that out. All right. And then once you get all that stuff balanced out, it's like, here we are. All right. This is you waiting for your ships to come in. And it could be that somebody is coming in to you. All right. Let me just pull some clarifiers on these um, cards. I, I, I'm just seeing this. Somebody coming towards you. As soon as you release those doubtful and negative thoughts and self-talk, it's like, yeah. Make sure you're doing the affirmations too. I am beautiful. I am worthy. I can have any person I want, you know. All right. So we have the Six of Swords. The Six of Wands, you could be seeing 666. And we have the Page of Swords. All right. So I feel like uh, what this is saying is, um, okay, so I do, I feel like when you let go of the self-doubts and the worry, all right, when you let go of feeling the loss, um, things start to move forward for you. Things start to progress for you. All right. In the next 30 days, this is for those of you who are going to take this advice. All right. So when you start moving forward, um, it could be too, that you have somebody come in um, towards you. That is a, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Okay. Victory success. All right. Um, I do feel like it's a person that's coming into your life. All right. Aries Leo Sagittarius, somebody, it's like, I've been waiting for happiness, all right? And I feel like this person, I feel like you you actually know 
if you don't know them, I feel like they've been checking you out for some time. All right. The page of swords is about, um, you know, looking people up, checking people out. All right. And I feel like, um, this page of swords energy is coming out too, as, um, it's new beginnings, um, it's success. All right. But this is also, I feel like this energy has been watching you for some time. And I feel like, uh, as soon as you come out of this kind of a uh, stagnant energy, it's like you, you get up, you, you know, you start, um, doing what you can to make yourself ready and look good for the day it's like this energy comes out of the woodworks okay so and i know it's easy to to say stay in high vibe you know and it's like well when you've been single for this long well you know what i've been at my highest vibration and i've been single for um you know going on three years i mean yeah i've gone on dates and yeah i've had a you know a couple of uh you know where maybe it was going to go somewhere but you know what? Overall, the energy, it's not going to define me. And it's not going to define you either. And I feel like this is going to be really good for some of you um, over the next 30 days. And look up to you guys. Um, his name is Eric Ho on YouTube. Master Sri Akasha. Um, look up his 21-day um, love affirmations challenge and do those. I did it. And... Um, it, it actually just really changed my perception on on life and everything so let's see what your message is what is Capricorn's message hang on I got a, a kid trying to let's see hang on all right your guys' message Dang, these cards. All right, so we have friendship. Um, you guys could be seeing 555 five, five a lot. All right, um, one and four is five. Friendship, bring to me friendships true, sharing, laughter, understanding too. All right, so I feel like what this is telling you guys is for those of you, all right, who are in this energy um, when it comes to trying to find love, romance, all right, um, you know, aside from focusing on yourself, focus on the friendships that are around you too. Okay. Um, hang out with people who, you know, will take you out of that energy. All right. So, um, you guys, good luck with everything. Um, I really hope that you guys, um, you guys will find happiness. It's just learning how to love yourself and releasing what you can't control. All right, Cap, I'm going to leave it there.